on some level, you know, this is the kind of story that wants to both acknowledge that there are there are those great, you know, there there's the front side of what you've been told, but you also need to understand the other hemisphere of the story, which leaves just as powerful a legacy. A tragedy occurs that prevents the kind of um, fulfillment of Penelope's promise, which is she says, hang in there, do very difficult things for me, among the most difficult things that can be done for another person. Please do these things for me, and when Odysseus returns, I'll tell him everything and all will be set right. And unfortunately, when Odysseus returns, the, the maids are killed. So her trying to come to grips with that irreconcilable grief and, and the fact that she intended to honor the love and sacrifice that the maids have given her, and she's unable to do that, and consequently, um, perhaps eternally, um, pays the price for that and and you know even having tried to make reconciliation retribution um, you know she the part of what the Penelope ad is doing is trying to sort out what do you do when you can't fulfill your promises in the Penelope ad I think we found um, something that feels incredibly lively and important to say today I I don't want us to be doing plays just because we have some odd sense of you know obligation to the classics I want us to be doing Work, I want us to be working on the classics because they really do have something rich and vibrant and contemporary to say to us today. Um, this project has certainly whet my appetite for us to remain committed to that work. Whether or not it's a Greek play or a Jacobean play or um, an, some ancient play um, out of another culture, I think it's, um, it's, it's certainly, um, it doesn't just whet my appetite, it validates my commitment. Um, to doing the great works. Margaret Atwood talks about that this play is the echo of an echo of an echo, and the reason that we hear these great stories echoing through time and, the, and is that we then use them a, as a lens through which we can view the contemporary world. So you cannot look at what's going on today in South America, in Egypt, in uh, Lebanon, in Syria, um, in China, um, uh, in the same way, when, you, when you've when you held it up to a context where you say, here are issues about humanity and the way in which we do well and do poorly in the way that we relate to each other, and that this goes back through millennia. And somehow understanding the, the, the folding of that and seeing it through this very insightful portrait of, um, of an epic and intimate journey helps me navigate through life today. It really does. It helps me see more clearly like a good lens should. And um, so much more than giving me insight into ancient times, it gives me insight into 